Today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about SD cards for your Lumix camera and look at their practical use. Let's get right to it. Yeah. Now your camera usually takes this form factor SD card, but you can also use the smaller micro SD with the SD adapter. This 90 megabytes per second is the speed you can expect to see transferring from the camera's buffer to the card or when taking files off using a USB 3 card reader. On the right there is a HC meaning it uses the FAT32 file system and the file sizes are limited to 4 gigabytes which is good for photography. You can also see XC which uses the XFAT file system and can have file sizes up to 2 terabytes which is good for either photography or video. The C10 is the sustained write speed that the card is capable of, in this case the 10 means 10 megabytes per second, and there is no rating beyond C10. The U next to the C10 is the UHS class, and you would ordinarily see a U with a 1 inside meaning 10 megabytes per second sustain write, in this case the card is U3 which has 30 megabytes per second sustained write speed. The Roman numeral 1 is a UHS type. The 1 means that there is a single row of connectors on the back and the two ones usually mean that there are two rows of connectors on the back, meaning faster data transfer rates. These are some photos I took with the camera at full 4K JPEG compression. These images averaged at about 7.5 megabytes in size, which when taking a single image is well within the 10 megabytes per second transfer rating. But if you shoot in RAW format, then expect the camera to take a few seconds to write to the card, as RAW files usually are much larger. For 4K video, the bitrate is usually around 12 megabytes per second, which the card can handle easily, being a UHS Class 3 card. Okay, so now I wanted to have a look at the transfer rates from the buffer to the SD card. I'm going to fill the buffer with random amount of images and see how long it takes to clear them to the SD card. No. So we can see that 95 images of about 402 megabytes in size takes 4.4 seconds to transfer or a rate of around 91 megabytes per second, which is just above the 90 megabytes per second on the card. We'll do a quick comparison with connecting the camera directly to the PC and take some images off. And here we quickly see the limitation of the camera connection being USB 2.0 giving us 12 to 13 megabytes per second and that is very slow. So I hope that gives you a better idea of which card to select for your camera. And I hope that you find this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and remember to hit subscribe for updates on future videos.